Children who are blind or suffering congenital heart conditions will benefit from a funding boost into stem cell research. The latest projects involve taking their cells to create either beating hearts or eye models which can be tested in the hope of finding cures. Madeline Slattery explains. Seven-year-old Harry Feller is one of just 4,000 suffering a particular strand of Usher's syndrome. In history it's been termed deaf blindness, which is a devastating concept. Harry's still got his sight, but to prevent blindness setting in, stem cell researchers have transformed Harry's skin cells into models of his eyes. We are in effect making a biopsy of the back of the eye of Harry without taking a biopsy. Now they can do experiments on those photoreceptors that are what they term individual medicine. As well as reconstructing parts of the eye, this work is also remodelling heart tissue. And this here is an example of blood cells turned into stem cells, which are now growing as components of a heart. And through this microscope, you can see that heart actually beating. And those heart muscle cells are absolutely genetically identical to the patient. And that means we don't have a transplant rejection problems. It's something Eve Rumble could benefit from. She was born with several heart defects and needed surgery at just 36 hours old. You just have to have potentially just one more open heart surgery so they could obviously put the stem cell in and then no more open heart surgeries. The work can continue thanks to a $3 million boost from the federal government. 2,000 children a year are born with some form of congenital heart disease in Australia and this is about giving them hope. It's a fabulous outcome because now we'll be able to build real teams of researchers. So for these children, the future is looking bright. Harry Fellow reporting for Channel 9. Madeline Slattery, 9 News.